hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing good so today we're going to be making an off shoulder padded dress with a double circle sleeve and then before we start i still want to appreciate all my subscribers thank you so much for your support may god almighty be with you all and uh, please if this is your first time here you're welcome to the family subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time i upload new video and uh, don't forget to follow us on our facebook group at cynthia's fashion house we all will learn together so this is what we're going to be making today so these are not shoulder padded dress with double circle sleeve so that's what we're going to be making today we need two and a half yards of lace fabric and the two meters of satin fabric that's the lining so i'm going to start with the upper part the upper part is 18 inches i'm going to be adding one and a half inches for sewing allowance that is a 19 and a half inches so this is 19 and a half inches i place my table here because i'm going to be minusing five inches so as you can see this is the five inches and we have 19 and a half inches both sewing allowance and my fabric is folded into two so for the upper part the bust is the biggest part of the body so i use the bust measurement to cut out the fabric and i added some allowance to it so my fabric is folded into two so i'm going to start by placing the the measurement i'm going to place my table like this i will still minus the five inches from shoulder to bust is 10 and a half inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is 11 inches from shoulder to under bust is 14 inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is 14 and a half inches from shoulder to waist is 17 and a half inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is 18 inches for the upper part so i will add one inch for the down part that is 19 inches so all together is a 19 and a half inches for the upper part So we make a line. I will make a line here. Okay. The round double measurement is 17 inches divided by two is eight and a half inches. Mark my eight and a half inches. So this is now the chest line. So this is the chest line, this is the bust line, under bust, and this is the waist line. So the bust palm is 8 inches, divided by 2 is 4 inches, plus half inch sewing allowance is 4 and a half inches. I'll mark it all the way down, 4 and a half inches. I'm marking the upper part 5 and a half inches. You can mark 4 and a half inches if you want, but I just want to make it 5 and a half inches. I want this side to be wider than the other side. I will connect this, this five and a half inches to meet the four and a half inches. So I will come down one inch from the bust point, that's the bust line, and go one inch above the bust line. So I will go to the under bust line. I will take one and a half inches on each side. So I'll go to the waistline, take one inch on each side. So I'm going to connect this one inch below the bust line to this uh, one and a half inches on that bust. Connect this side as well. So I'll bring it down from this one and a half inches to maybe one inch here. So I will go to this upper part. I will take one inch on this side and take one inch on this side. So I will connect it to meet this one inch above the bust line. So 
I'll be placing the circumference measurement now. I will start from the shoulder. I will start from here. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches. I'll mark 8 inches. And I'll be adding these 2 inches back because I'm going to be cutting these 2 inches out. That is 10 inches. I'll mark this 10 inches first. Later on, I'm going to be minusing from these 10 inches. So I'll go to the chest line, place the post measurement. The post measurement is 42 inches, divided by 4 is 10 and half inches. Then I mark 10 and half inches here. So I will measure this here. I have about 1 inch here. I will add this 1 inch back. Then I will add 2 inches sewing allowance. So that is, I'm adding a 3 inches now. So we go to the under bust measurement. So I will place the waist measurement. The waist measurement and the other under bust measurement is just one inch different. The waist measurement is one inch bigger than the under bust measurement. So I rather use the waist measurement to place it. So the waist measurement is 37 inches. 37 inches divided by four is nine and a quarter. So I will add these 3 inches back because I'm going to be cutting it out and add 2 inches sewing allowance. So that is 5 inches. So I will take it to the waistline. I'll connect it from the chest line to the underboss, from underboss to the waistline. So I will come back to this place again. So I'm going to be minusing 2 inches here. If you don't want to minus 2 inches here, you can place your tape like so and measure here. My chest line here, I measure here is 12 inches, the upper post measurement, divided by 2 is 6 inches. So I place my 6 inches here, plus these 2 inches because I'm going to be cutting these 2 inches out. That is 8 inches, and I'll add half inch for sewing allowance. That is 8 and half inches. If you look at it, it's still the same thing if you minus 2 inches from there. So, yeah. So we connect it from here. This is my arm hole. So I'll make a curve here. So for the neckline, I will just come down. Remember, I minus five inches already. So I will come down two inches again, right from the neckline. I mark two inches here. I'm going to make it like a V neckline. So we connect it. Right from here. Like a V-neckline or like a sweetheart neckline, depending on the neckline you want. You can make it like so. You can make it a round neckline. It totally depends on what you want. So that's it for the front one. I'm going to be cutting it out. This is the front one, so I'm going to be cutting out the back one. This is the lining anyway, so there's no need of showing you how I cut the lace one. I'll use the lining to cut out the lace fabric. So I'm cutting out the back panel. My fabric is still folded into two, so I'll mark two inches for zip allowance. So for the upper part, remember my chest line is a 12 inches divided by 2. I will still use the same measurement for the back one. 12 divided by 2 is 6 inches plus half inch sewing allowance. That is 6 and half inches. So I'll mark 6 and half inches. I'm starting it. I'm starting the measurement right from this place. So this the zipper measurement is not included. And I will still minus 5 inches for the back side. I will take the the chest line, eight and a half inches. That is the arm hole. So this is the chest line, also the arm hole measurement. So this is the post line, eleven and a half inches. And this is the waist line. 
say the same thing. I'll make a line here. So I'll still mark out the boss pan measurement, four and a half inches. I'm only adding that to the back side. I will take it all the way to one inch above the bust line. I will come to the waist line. I will take half inch for that. And take half inch for that on this side also. I will connect it right from here. This is one inch above the bust line. Connect it from there and do the same thing for this side. I'll make a notch here as the back measurement. So I'll now place the circumference measurement. So the bust line is 10 and a quarter. I will place the measurement here, then plus 2 inches sewing allowance. That is 12 and a quarter. So I mark my 12 and a quarter here. Then the waist measurement is uh, 9 and a quarter plus 2 inches sewing allowance. That is 11 and a quarter, then plus 1 inch for that. That is 12 and a quarter. Alright, this is 12 and a quarter. And the lines. This is the arm hole. Covid. So for the neckline, I will come down one inch. So I will connect it from here. I'm just making it round. You can make it straight. You can curve it a little bit. This I want to make now. So I'm cutting it out. it for this finish with that one then we'll be cutting out the damp part so I'm gonna be using the lining to cut out the damp part as well so for the damp part I use the hip measurement to fold the fabric because the hip measurement is uh, bigger for the, the damp part I'm cutting out the front and the back together so the back is two inches bigger than the front one because of zipper allowance. I minus the half length from the full length. So the remaining part is for the damp part and the remaining part is uh, 45 inches and I'll be adding one inch for sewing allowance. That is 46 inches. So I'll place the measurement now. This is the waistline. I'll place my waist measurement here. It's a nine and a quarter plus one and a half inches for sewing allowance. I'm not I'm not adding that to it. So from waist to hip is 8 inches. Plus half inch sewing allowance. That is 8 and half inches. So this is the hip line. I'll place the hip circumference measurement here. The hip measurement is um, 46 inches divided by 4. So it's 11 and half inches plus 1 and half inches sewing allowance. That is 13 inches here. 13 inches here. So I'll connect it from here from the waistline to the hip line. So I'll come down two inches from two inches from the hip line. So the downside 
you want it uh, fitted, you minus one and a half inches from the hip measurement. The hip measurement is 13 inches. So the down part here, I will make it 11 and a half inches. So I want it a little bit fitted. That is the down part. So from here, I'll connect it right from two inches below the hip to the down part. So that's it. So I'm cutting it out. So I finished cutting out the down part. I'm going to use this to cut out the main fabric, then join the fabric and the, the lining together. So we'll finish cutting everything, both the lining and the fabric. The only thing remaining is the sleeve. We'll be doing that later on. So the front one, I cut out two lining because the fabric is very transparent. So we add one first and then use the other one to cover it up. If you guys have been following me, that is how we normally do it when the fabric is very transparent. After sewing it with the normal fabric, we use the other one to cover it up. So I'll be sewing the lining and the fabric together, both the upper part and the down part. So this is the lining, I pin them together with the fabric. Remember I said I'll be padding it. I cut down this um, wording. I came down one inch right from the neckline and I use this to trace it out. So this is for the middle part. The side one, I just place it on top of the wording and then lay it on it and then use it to trace it out. One inch down from the shoulder up to the under post measurement. Same thing on this side, the middle part as well. So we'll be joining them together. We sew the lining and the fabric together, both the upper part and the down part. I finished uh, sewing the lining and the fabric together. So what we're going to do next is to join these together. I will start sewing it right from the down part to the upper part. I will sew this side also. Remember I said I cut out two lining for the front one. I will sew the lining the same way I sew the other side. So for the back side, I make sure the wrong side of the lining and the right side of the fabric are facing each other. So I will sew the neckline, sew the side here, the armhole, bring it down and sew it up to this place. I will leave about five inches under here. This is where I will turn it out from. I will do the same thing to the other side. So I finished joining them together. So I've joined the liner as well. So I will now place the lining. Make sure the right side of the lining and the right side of the fabric are facing each other. So I will sew all the way from here, the neckline, the armhole, the side, and uh, sew a little from here. Then I will leave this place on sewed. This is where I will turn this out. I've also joined the back side. So after joining it, I'll make a notch around the neckline. Then I will turn it right from here. I, le I left about five inches on sewed here. So I will turn it inside out. So I will push this inside, put a quarter of an inch inside and seal this place up. After I've done that, I will put in my dart. Remember I made a notch here, so this is where I will insert my dart. I will turn it to this side. As you can see, I still have my dart line here. So I will pin it one inch, half inch on the other side and half inch on this side. I will pin it all the way to this place, one inch above the bust line. So I will go ahead and sew the dart and use the lining to turn the neckline for the front side. So after sewing it, I will turn it inside out. Before turning it, make sure you make a notch around the whole edges. I will turn it right from here. Now make sure I give it a good press and then stitch this place up. We'll be joining the upper part to the down part. So this is the front one. I'm not adding that to the down part. So I'll make sure the right side are facing each other.
I will pin the back side also. This is one side. Front one, I will sew it here at the waistline here. And sew the back side. Remember, I, I split this into two. This is where I insert my zip. After sewing it, I will take my zip and take my zipper allowance. My zip is up to here. I will attach my zip here. I will leave about 10 to 15 inches unsewed here. I will leave this place unsewed. Sew it from here to here where I will insert my zip before we join the both sides together. So I've attached the zip to the back side. So we're going to be joining the front and the back together. So I'll make sure the right side are facing each other. I'm going to take the exact measurement. The bust measurement is 42 inches divided by 2 is 21 inches. So I make sure I take 21 inches here. That's the exact bust measurement. I will take the exact waist measurement. It's 18 and a half inches. I'll mark my 18 and a half inches. So take it here. I'll come to the hip line and take my 23 inches. So I will take it all the way down. I'll go ahead and sew both sides together then before we cut out our sleeves. So guys, I finished joining both sides together. So we're going to be cutting out the sleeves now. So we're cutting out a circle sleeve, two on each side. So we cut out 10 inches and 7 inches. So to cut it out, I measure the round shoulder and minus this from the round shoulder. So I'll measure this round. What I have here is 13 inches for the front and 13 inches for the back so that is 26 inches and the round shoulder is 44 inches so I will minus this from the round shoulder 44 minus 26 is 18 inches so I'll divide 18 inches by 2 because I'm making two sleeves so 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches so I'll be cutting 9 inches for each side I will add 1 inch for sewing allowance to the 9 inches that is 10 inches I'll be cutting out two together so I'll fold my fabric into two I will fold it again it's folded into four because I'm cutting out two sleeves together so I will fold it again Hope you guys understand what I'm doing. So to cut it out, I'm going to divide the 10 inches by 6.28 because we are making a circle sleeve. 10 divided by 6.28 is 1.59. So I'd rather round it to 1.6. So I'm cutting out the short one first. I'm cutting out the 7 inches one. So I'll mark my 1.6. I'll take it round. Mark 1.6 on the side. Then from here I will take my 7 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. That is 8 inches. I will take 8 inches round. So I will be cutting this side out. So I am using my shear scissors to cut it out because I don't think I will be having the bottom side. Then I'll use my normal scissors to cut the upper part. So before I open it up, I'm gonna use this to cut out the longer one, the 10 inches one. To cut out the 10 inches one, 
I will use the same method I use for this one, just that that one will be three inches longer than this one. Place your fabric into it too, and lay this against the, the fabric and use it to trace it out. So I finished cutting both of them. So we're going to join them together now. I will take one of the this long one and take one of the short one. So this will be on top. So I'll open it up like so. so I'm going to be cutting out a um, little from here. So I'll place my table like so. I'm minus 5 inches from the shoulder. So I'll still place my table like so and minus this 5 inches to cut out the sleeves. So I'll bring them down like so. Or you can just measure here and come down by 4 or 5 inches. So I'll just take it and curve it like so. So I'll cut it. Like so. What I'm going to do is to hem this, uh, this inside. Just take one inch or half inch, hem it inside. After hemming it inside, then we attach this other side, the side the, we cut out, we attach it here. Take this to this side. I'll take this one to the side. I will also do the same thing for the other side. So guys, I finished attaching the sleeve to the dress. I'll measure it now to see if it's up to 44 inches for the round shoulder. Open it right on the sleeve. Yeah, 22 inches yeah this is 22 inches this is exactly the round shoulder measurement because the round shoulder measurement is 44 inches so the front is 22 and the back is 22 so it's correct this is the down part this is the back side So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please if you like my video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share my video, like. If you're new, subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload new videos. I'll see you guys in my next one. I love you. Bye.